This is now the 10th uh, or 11th video rather of the React Native series and today's video I'll just be wrapping up the sign-in page and then adding also the uh, navigation tabs here at the bottom. So once the user has successfully signed in we'll have our four navigation tabs here that lead to the main page and all the other pages. So firstly we will need to import this uh, error component in our sign-in page so if the user signs in with the incorrect details we can reuse that component to uh, display an error message so i'll go ahead and import that or i can rather just copy it from the sign sign up page okay and then also i'll need a state to store my two inputs on this page so we'll need a state to store the email address and the password and for that as well i'll just copy from the sign up page Okay, and then the next thing I'll need to assign these uh, states uh, as values in the text input and uh, in the email text input and the password text input. And the same functionality has been added on the sign up page as well, so I can just copy all of that. Okay, uh, once I've copied that, I can just replace the variables uh, to correspond with the variables on this page. So it will be email and we can just change confirm password to password here. Okay, and then I can replace full name with, let's see, uh, what is this email? And then set email will remain the same and then full name here will be password and replace uh, the second set email with set password okay so since the second input is a password we will need to uh, hide the characters that the user inputs and for that we can just go uh, to this page again on the signup.js file where we have this uh, secure entry property on secure text entry on our uh, password input and then just copy that and add it to okay oh uh, we forgot to import use state Okay, so now we can input the values, email, and password. Okay, so now on our touchable opacity, we'll add a validate uh, method. Uh, let's uh, first write that out. Okay, and we'll just call validate input when the user clicks the uh, sign in button. And there we go. And then we'll create an array to check if our email and password are both filled in. If not, then we can uh, use the form error to display uh, a message for the user so that will mean uh, creating a state as well to uh, store our error pass uh, message let me just go back to the form error component and this accepts yeah so we accept error message so we'll just create a state that will pass along to the form error component if the user does not um, fill in the form accordingly so it'll be error message set 
error message. And this will be an empty string. Okay, so I'll just create a variable here called inputs, or let me just call it form inputs. And this will be an array of email and password. Pretty much the same as our sign up uh, validation here. So we, on our sign up, we have form inputs and we have more inputs here, which is uh, which are the full name, email, mobile number, password, and confirm password. So we'll do pretty much the same. I can actually just copy uh, this line here and paste it in there. Yeah, and then set error message is being called, and then we just need a display form error. So we can copy it as well from our uh, sign up to JS. And we'll need a state as well for display form error. I guess we can just copy that as well from our sign up. Okay. And then error, do we pass the, okay. Uh, let's just pass the error message there. So the naming uh, was different. Okay, so now that our validation is working, uh, if the user correctly fills in the form, we should be navigating them or signing them in and navigating to uh, the main page. And before we do that, we'll need to update our app.js file. So if we go back to our app.js file in one of the videos, uh, previous videos, we built out this uh, navigation stack here. So the only two pages that a user can navigate to currently is the sign in and sign up page. But obviously, once the user signs in, they should be able to navigate to our home page and navigate to all the other screens. Uh, in this case, it will be home page, profile page, notifications page, and so on. And in order to do that, we'll need to uh, define all the pages that a user can navigate to once they're signed in and pages that they can navigate to once they're signed out. So for the sign in pages, we'll be using uh, a tab navigation. In this case, for the sign in and sign up page, we're using the uh, React Stack Navigator. So in the previous video, we, react, we added uh, React Native navigation to our project and to add the bottom tabs, we'll need to go back to React Native Navigation or React Navigation rather and install bottom tab navigation, which is this package here, React Native or React Navigation forward slash bottom tabs. You can just go ahead and copy that then can install it into our project. So while that is installing, uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to import uh, use state from React. So we'll need to keep a state of whether the user is signed in or signed out. And to do that, we'll just create a state here. Uh, call it signed in. Uh, by default, let's make it true. Okay, so we'll use the state to determine whether a user is signed in or not and return them to the uh, respective pages. Uh, firstly, let's go back to React Native, uh, React Navigation, and import this line here create bottom tab navigator. and we need to define our screens for the bottom navigation so let's create another folder within our screens call it signed in and 
then we'll have four pages uh, home.js. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, let's call it apparel. JS and then it'll be notifications JS and profile to JS. Okay, then we can write out a basic uh, layout for both the pages for all the pages. And then we can just copy this into all the pages and then replace uh, the component names or the screen names. And then we'll go ahead and import all of those screens into our app.js file. Just change that. Okay, and lastly, it'll be apparel. Okay, and then if I just go back to the uh, documentation here. <coughs> so within our app.js file, uh, we have here, for example, when we want to create a stack uh, navigation, which is say, uh, create well, we have this uh, constant here which is stack dot create stack navigator, and then in the if to create the bottom tab navigator, we'll just call this line here, we'll just add this very uh, line here, okay? Tab create bottom tab navigation. So, what we'll do now is have an if statement. Say if uh, let's change this uh, constant or state to is signed in set is signed in. So we're saying if user is signed in, if is signed in equals to true then we'll return the tab navigation if not then we'll have our signed out UI actually let's remove this return there so we'll have return here And then in this first one, we'll have another return. And this will be our bottom tab navigation. Yeah, we can just go ahead and copy that. Okay. And then for our screen, let's see. 
Okay, we so they have the screens in the same file, but we created our sep our files separately. Uh, we can just change this home screen to our home, and then have apparel, and this will be our apparel screen. Okay, and then two additional screens which will be notifications and profile. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's just change this. Okay, so what should happen now is uh, we've set a uh, signed in variable or is signed in variable here and this just checks whether a user is signed in or not and if the user is signed in it will return or it will return them to the home page where it will have a bottom tab navigation where they can navigate to the apparel notifications and profile page so if i go ahead and save this and i go back to my application uh what does it say text strings must be rendered in a text call oh sorry so forgot you can't write HTML here so my bad let me just import text from react native okay and then I'll just copy this in all the other uh, screens Uh, sorry about that. So if I just head over back to my app.js and open the emulator, as you can see here at the bottom, we have our two or four or four tabs: home, apparel, notifications, and profile. But we're still missing our icons. So now to add the icons to my application, as you can see, uh, the tab bar at the bottom has been added and we can navigate to each and every page. Uh, there's the text here at the top. We'll just need to bring that down uh, later in the other videos. But uh, I still uh, need the icons on my section, on my bottom here. So to do that, let's just go back to the documentation. So if you scroll all the way down on this uh, tab navigation here, you'll see there's a section that says customizing the appearance. What we'll need to do is uh, copy this line, which imports the React Native vector icons that we uh, installed earlier on so I can just add that to my application and in our tab.navigator here is where we'll add our options if you scroll down here you have uh, this section that's called screen options so we'll just go ahead and copy that and then we'll add it to our tab bar here So what's happening here, basically, uh, as the user navigates to a specific page uh, or what, uh, the route in this case, uh, it will check if the route, uh, the name of the route is home page. If it is home page and it is focused, for example, if the user actually did navigate to that page, then it will display, in this case, it will be uh, iOS uh, information uh, circle. If not, then it will just display an outline of that icon. And we can check uh, whatever page the user is on. So for example, if they're on apparel, then we can, instead of saying settings here, so they have a settings page, we can have apparel. And if they're on the apparel page, it will have an iOS list box. So if I just go back here 
as you can see for the home page by default you have the ios information circle if i change this to home if i change that to home and go back uh i don't think there's an ios home let me just move that oh it's home circle Okay. As you can see, there's the home icon, and then if I navigate to any other page, then it will display the home uh, outline. So for the apparel, I guess I can just say, I don't know if there's an iOS t-shirt, but let's see if that works. Okay, I don't think there's an icon called that. Uh, let's see if t-shirt exists. No. Uh, shirt okay so there we go we have shirt and then if it's not on that page we can just show shirt outline okay and then we can also check for the other pages so if I'm on the notifications page or the profile page then I can uh, display the icons I need So the other page that we have is notifications. And for that, we'll be using our iOS spell icon. Okay. And for our profile, we'll just be using uh, iOS user. Okay, it's iOS person. So that's how you add icons to uh, your tab navigation. And then to add or change the color of the icons uh, you can just add this section here which is tab bar options and then replace the active and inactive tint colors and this is all in the tab.navigator uh, component that we have here And for our color, let's see, we'll be using this blue. And then for the gray, it will be uh, this shade of blue. Okay, there we go. So now if I just go back to the, oh, I'm on the app.js, if I change this uh, signed in state to false, then it should only display the sign in and sign up page. So what should happen is on the sign in page, which should pass a, an additional property that is uh, this set signed in. So if the user signs in successfully using Firebase, then we should uh, update the state here so that they can navigate to the home uh, the pro all the, or so that they can navigate to the home apparel notifications and all the other pages and I think we'll have a look at that in the next set of videos